and welcome back to Risha and Demand. So, we are in the car. It is now Saturday, October 9th. 9th yeah. We're still in Chantilly, Virginia, which is where our hotel was, is. We're still checked in <laughs> um, for the Home Stutters of America conference. However, we're blowing off the second day so that we can go do some other things. Um, so, the agenda today is to try to check out some farmer's markets, maybe an Amish market and buy a bunch of stuff and hope we can get on the plane to go home. Yeah, <laughs> So, um, if you haven't checked out my pr previous video of our whole day at the Homesteaders of America conference on yesterday, head over to my channel and check that out. It was so much fun. Ran into so many amazing, amazing people. And you guys, if you are embarking on the Homesteader journey or the sustainability journey and you don't have people in your life who also feel that way towards food sustainability it's really really important for you to form a community of like-minded people around you so get connected with other homesteaders because coming to this conference has just further solidified my way of thinking um how i feel about food growth and raising my own food for my family. And it, I'm sorry y'all, the sun is doing wonky things. And, and it's also helped Keith and I become comfortable with um, some things, adding some things to our homestead a lot sooner than we thought we'd be comfortable doing it. It's also made us reevaluate some things that we were gung ho on doing just a week ago now we're like mm, that might not be the best um use of our space right now so um our space and resources so it's all about just just you know diving in and connecting in and you know learning being an eternal student anyway check the video out you'll see what i'm talking about some amazing 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 individuals who've been just <laughs> doing it unapologetically and they're just sharing their knowledge so today we're going to try to check out two farmers markets we're already late for one so we're parked in this parking lot because Keith is waiting for me to pull up directions but um we're going to try to check out two farmers markets before we have to turn in our rental car and check out of our hotel and catch our flight tonight at five so anyway just want to let y'all know what's going on today and yeah bye. see y'all later bye Fairfax, Virginia, and we're at the farmer's market. The first one. And y'all look at this. It's a mango peach cheese danish. Delicious. I put the information for the place in the video and in the description below. She's super, super nice. Super sweet. Check it out. Fresh produce here. We're definitely gonna buy two boxes of something of pears at least um hope we can get them on the plane um but yeah like the produce selection here it's ridiculous it's amazing it's beautiful it's what i aspire to have one day <laughs> out of my own garden but i mean it's just gorgeous beautiful organic grown responsibly grown produce and I'm super happy we decided to stop by huh? yeah. anyway yeah remember we were gonna try to make that one day oh, yeah. but yeah so we're gonna go grab our pears and 
Get out of here. Chicken pies, meat pies, both spicy and non-spicy. Yum. Gosh. Uh -huh. Anyway, y'all, we are at Mama Spice. Yeah. Mama Spice. And this spread is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it's definitely making me miss food like this from living in a bigger city. I mean, I live in New Orleans, but they don't really have a lot of Caribbean flavors, a lot of... Um, Honestly, African flavors. I just, I'm just gonna let y'all know. They would, we, really, we really don't have that. But I mean, get out, travel, go other places. <laughs> you know. Um, so let's see. We're gonna try a plantain because it's my favorite. I already know I love it, but you know. So good. Want one? <laughs> oh, it's so good, y'all. All right, guys, so the whole reason we came here is because if you haven't been following what's been going on in New Orleans, it has been an awful year for growing produce. Somebody's cutting the grass, but so we decided to pick up some produce while we were out of town because why not? Um, they have these Shenandoah pears and the Asian pears, and we're going to get a box of both so that we can do pear sauce and things like that so yeah super exciting and I'm gonna just show y'all the spread that this guy has he's from Hensville West Virginia Tyson's farm We are done shopping. <laughs> a bushel of Shenandoah pears. Hope I'm Careful. saying that right. And a half a bushel of Asian, just because I think I may be able to find Asian somewhere at home. But these can't find those at home. So and they're delicious. So I think we're ready to go and try to see how we're gonna get this in our luggage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. You don't have the willpower not to buy things. I do. At the Amish market. You're going to go to the Amish market and that's going to be all she wrote. We're going to be broke again. <laughs> we broke again? Broke again. <laughs> until we is. Next Friday. Yeah, until payday. <laughs> and then we broke again because we had to pay for everything you put on card. <laughs> Don't cover us, y'all. When he say broke, he mean out of our play money broke. Not, we can't pay our bills broke. Right, right. <laughs> Honey, when will we ever get the opportunity to go to the Amish market? It's true. They don't, Amish people don't live where we live, as far as I know. No, I've never seen none around. At least not a big enough community for there to be like a, a dedicated market. Or right, right. Well, I guess we'll have to go to one then. Yay! Watch it in. Let's find a place to go. <laughs> All right. Close. <laughs> okay, guys. Complete, complete, complete change of plans. Um, we're going to H Mart instead because who don't have one? And Keith doesn't know what it is. He thinks it's just a regular grocery store. Did they sell H's? <laughs> oh, by the way, we're filming on Keith's phone. And this is so much easier than the camera. And I think the video quality is pretty decent. 
But that means he doesn't get to have his phone all the time because I do all the filming. Right. <laughs> what is Samsung S8? S9? 8, I think. Samsung S8. It's a really nice front facing camera. Other, um, another little tidbit, our very first YouTube videos, like maybe the first three or four, were also filmed on Keith's phone because we didn't yep. even have a camera at the time. All right, see y'all at All right, we're leaving H Mart without many things, honestly. <laughs> but it's just Man, fun. We yeah, we lived here. Both of the things that we saw that we were interested in, I just don't even want to deal with trying to get on a plane. <laughs> like meat, seafood. But oh my gosh, so many things we wanted to buy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Keith says we need an H Mart in Louisiana. In Louisiana. At least one is close. Yeah, because Louisiana is pretty much being drive close to everything. <sighs> I said, let's do it. He said, yeah, right. No, I said, give me a million dollars for the inventory. At least. I'm sure it's more than that. Pretty big place. Skin. I need a facial. Anyway, so yeah, this has been a really fun weekend. It's only 11 o'clock. We don't have to check out of our hotel until 2 because of our explorer status. It's about to rain and Keith is letting down the windows because heaven forbid he be warm because it ain't hot. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to go find something else to do, but we don't have much else to do, so we'll see what we get into. Hi guys, so we are back in our room from H Mart and the farmer's market. Now we have to figure out how to pack our suitcases full of pears to go home. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video of us doing random things in Virginia instead of going to the Homesteaders of America conference. Um, I still haven't sat down to talk thoroughly about the Homesteaders of America conference. Maybe I'll do a sit down video about that when I make it home. Just some things that I noticed that I just want you guys to be aware of. This was our first time going, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I don't know how it's been in past years. I just know how it was this year. And what I'm saying is not negative. It's just facts, little factoids of what we experienced. And yeah. If you're interested in coming, things that I feel like you should know. Um, and if this is how it was in previous things, things I wish I knew. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe I'll sit down and do that video when I get home. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I will talk about it while I process pears or something. I don't know. We'll talk about it. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And looking at the randomness that is our life and enjoying us building our little homestead on our little piece of land right here well not here but right in the city of new orleans so 
if you like content like that consider clicking the link down below all the links for all the things i talked about all the companies that i could get links for and our social media handles for will be down in the description bar as always so thanks guys for stopping by and until next time bye